No. Okay. Hold on, I'm trying to figure something out here. Okay, well, hold up. I want to make sure you guys are able to see me. Okay, so hopefully you guys can be able to see me. Um, I done a live video earlier talking about a case that happens to do with one of my friends who I didn't know who was a internet vine um, sensation meme celebrity, if you will. N nothing big, just, you know, the internet vine video things that people do and they've seen the blow up on it and they seem to get a lot of uh you know a lot of followers and everything hell it's not even that hot out today it's not even cold out tonight but whatever I'm actually quite burning up but well no not really I mean it's like cool but anyways nothing about that but you know I did a video earlier today you know, again, a live stream, you know, talking about my friend, um, giving my projective expective on three points of view and why I think he's innocent in the case that he's currently facing and going through. And the video I talked about how this is a setup and people's modems for setting people up you know because you never know what someone's modems are you don't know what people what goes through their minds in the terms of whatever it is that you're doing and you know, there's an old saying out there, you know, if I can't use you, you're useless. And I really hate that saying because to me, it goes to show that you really can't seem to do anything upon yourself to put yourself in a okay position. I don't want to say good. I don't want to say great. I want to say an okay position. And looking for handouts also in that video you know I really gave some example an example of one of my friends who I did say who was going to get set up and that is the topic of this here video you know setting up people you never know what someone's interior modems are when you meet someone and it, it, you have you have to kind of really watch out and look for the signs, you know. Me, you know, I've been through it myself several occasions, and to me, it's either you're looking for a handout or you got someone looking for a damn sugar daddy, and that's just how it really is. And to briefly, you know, really recap upon what I talked about earlier in terms of the setting up part, you know, my friend, you know, he comes from this town, you know, he had a, a rough upbringing when he was born with the disease to where, it, you know, where like, like you're young, but you look old type of deal. And he also was born not be able to walk, but his parents spent so much money to get him the surgery he needed in order to do that. And yeah, you know, they did lose their house, they lost their job, 
and he wanted to try to do something to help him not go into depression and not commit suicide. Because of this, these girls set him up, you know, and a lot of the texts that were shown, me as a graphic designer, I know something when fake when seen it, and text boxes don't have heavy, heavy shadows the way they do. They, they don't. And now his name been drugged through the mud and to the dirt as a child predator. And everything there adds up to being a setup because these girls' modems, with them being the age that they were, now allegedly, you know, they were 14, 17 years old. And I have personally seen what these girls look like. They're not in their teens. They're in their 20s. And also going back is that one of these girls has a reputation for setting up people like that. And their modems was to extort and have money sent to them, you know, by my friend. Now, let me remind you, you know, he blew up on the app of Vine going through an app called TikTok and also YouTube. He was close enough to where he was going to receive ads and monetization on everything that he was doing to get paid. And when those girls didn't get exactly what they wanted, they set him up. Which then leads me into prime examples of another friend. You know, he's he was like, what, 19 going on 20? And you now this one girl who was about 14 years old was setting him up. And me, I barely roll with anybody because I'm always by myself. And people talk. And once I heard about what was going to happen, they were going to set him up in the terms of saying, oh, that he raped me and forced him to get him drunk and then get the law. Well, once I found that out, you know, this was my best friend since middle school till now. And we still talk. So I'm not going to let him go down like that. And this took place about several years ago. And once I told him, you know, he didn't really know how to take it. And he went to go confront the person. Well, since their plans were foiled, they tried to get at me. And that didn't right happen because I shut that whole situation down quick. Because you got to be careful, you know, again, who you talk to, who you trust, and who you let in. And once he found out for himself, yeah, he was pretty heated about it. I remember his cousin, you know, joined the gang and he wanted to jump him in it. But he made it seem like they were trying to harass him. And when I first got locked up, that's when I really found out about it. Because I talked to one of the members who I knew since, oh God, since knee high. And we talked about it. And he let me in. Then once I got out, now I hit up my best friend about it. I said, hey, you know, your cousin trying to do this. That's some foul shit. And that was taken care of. It was dealt with right then and there. And his cousin's modem for doing this is because he just wanted him in it because he was in it. And that's not what my friend wanted to do anyway. You know, going in a bit farther, you know, you do you do have to be careful again, you know, even when business, especially when there's money involved. Um, I don't want to get it too much into one of the cases that I once had, but it's on there on my channel, you know, the end up money interview. And my situation that took place with me, you know, the closest people to you are going to be the ones to do you wrong, especially when it comes to to family and 
you know, that's what ended up happening. So I lost a lot of money, but things during the investigation was, I was getting answers to, you know? So my setup was really with money, honestly. You know, the first time I think I was actually, I guess, set up or jumped was like going into my early teens, um, going into, you know, somebody who I trusted and it ended up leading me to get drunk, you know? Yeah, I fought back, but that made the situation worse, you know? And in most cases, you know, you're going to want to defend yourself, but depending on what environment you're in, you know, whether it's out in the streets or in prison, you know, out in the streets, you know, fighting back with something like that's really going to make the situation worse compared to when you're locked up. It's not going to make the situation worse because it's going to show that you're willing to fight and stand your ground and people are going to respect that. You know, I remember I shared a story. Um, well, there was a story I did share, but I didn't really say the modem behind that story was. And compared to, you know, what this modem was, it was out of jealousy. And I don't know what to be jealous about about me because at the time I had nothing. I looked like shit, you know. Um, you know, but into one modem that I shared, you know, when I was up in Nashville at the time, you know, my friend got into a situation and you know, some people came in, they turned off the lights, and I went down in the dark. It was like three people against two, and I stood my ground because eventually your eyes are going to adjust either to the dark quick, and I always have, you know, my room dark. So my eyes adjusted to darkness, and my friend's motive behind that was for me to really take the fall, and that's what ended up happening, was for me to take the fall, and everyone that was involved in that situation walked out without facing any consequences, I'm the only one who did. Again, I was set up to take the fall and didn't even know it. But, you know, karma is a bitch and that shit came back around, you know? It's just like, you know, going back again when it comes to family members, a cousin of mine tried to set me up for some shit with her best friend because me and her best friend at the time were talking and so I don't you know she she tried to set me up to take the fall in order for her to get with another guy and once I reached out to him we we ended up turning the tables around on them so again you never know really what someone's modems are you don't never really know and that's why you really do have to be careful because you never know exactly what someone's modems could be. And people are going to want to set you up to take the fall. Even out, even if you're in the situation or if you're somebody outside of the situation that's seen it happen, in the end of it, these people who do that, they really, there's nothing in the end that they get out of it. There's really, there's no, no clout, no fame, no stripes, no reputation, no money in it. In the end, what I do see, what does come out of it for them is karma. It, 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 it's a true thing, you know. I'm again. I'm not a man of God, but in the Bible it says what comes around goes around, and I believe in that. And it was always something that happened to them ten times, you know, worse or in a worser situation, whatever took whatever comes around the corner for them. And usually it ends up them being locked up or beaten half to death. So. What goes through someone's mind when doing that, I would never know. You know, I'm not that type of person. But setting up somebody, what, what do you expect to get out of it? 
and even going back again, going back to the prior discussion that I had today, a lot of the evidence, the facts, again, I didn't have nothing to show it, what I was taught, you know, I didn't have anything to show, but I had a lot of knowledge breaking down things to experiences to a T the best of my ability to where, yeah, my friend is innocent. He will get out of this. And I hope he does sue and press charges against those girls, man, because their modem again was, for, was to get money. You know, there was no money there. So they said it all. Let's just go ahead and set them up. Not to mention lying about their age. They're not young. They're practically in their early twenties. Okay, so they take good care of themselves. And yeah, in most cases, you have some that hit a growth spur like hell. You know, there was this one girl I knew. She was like 15 years old, but she couldn't tell because her growth spur was so, it just hit her so much that she could have swore up and down she was 20 years old. And built like an Amazon woman, you know. But, again, you do have to be eventually careful, especially outside in terms of, uh, you know, media. Media, because it gets a lot of people caught up in so much that you're going to either... When it comes to sensations, honestly, it's going to get you so caught up, it's going to ruin you, and you might not even come back from it. You may not ever, you know, you're probably not. You know, I remember seeing, you know, there's always two, maybe three different circles of people, you know, of friends who you know, who you hang out with. And and most of them may not like each other. And you're always going to see well, I don't know about everyone. I, I can speak for myself that, you know, I always saw that I always wanted to set them up. So, again, you got to watch out for these. You know, I would say watch out. I think you'd have to go through it to really recognize the signs before it happens. And some people do have to learn the hard way. You know, I had an ex-best friend that tried to set me up because he wasn't going nowhere with his music like I was. And he wanted to rap me out. The shit didn't work because it fell back up on him. And his motivation, his modems for that was to get me out the picture so he can do something. Well, you know, there's other things beyond that why it didn't work out, but, you know, again, I already broke so much of that down in the long-ass video, but, you know, more things that came from it that I do have in the chamber just in case shit stirs up again. But, you know, again, you have to be, I think you have to have experience, went through it, this is seen it firsthand. In order to recognize the signs for people that want to set you up. And the stories that are shared, you know, are just really prime examples of what could happen. Now, this has been on my mind all day. Be all because of what happened, you know, the case, what my friend is in. And it's been really weighing down. I'm like, wow. You know, because... It's really different because you're like there's different feelings that go through somebody regardless if you're in a situation you're seeing it unfold or you're the outsider looking in and you find out about it and it's somebody that's close to you and you're like wow so you want to look in as much into it as possible depending on what it is. And the only thing I can really say is, again, what I said earlier is, uh, 
I just have to wait for an updated video. Or just an update in general. You know, investigations do take time. Six months to a year at the least. And again, I know for certain for a fact he's innocent. So, you know, just the best advice that I can give. Be careful, but I don't want to say be careful because you never know when something's going to happen. Regardless. And you don't know exactly what the outcome is. You know, you may come out of it. Okay, you may not come out of it. But yeah, to me, the endless, those girls motivations to set up my friend the way they did it had something and it always has something you know if any situation does have something to do with money top priority you know we need money to get around we need money to survive in this world and his, their top priority their motive was to get money from him because he was getting in several types of payments you know Working out a substitute teacher part time, working out a factory job another, and also getting five hundred dollars in every month from SSI, and plus he's almost close to getting ads with monetization for his videos, you know, so he could get himself honestly into a better, more position, not for him but also for his family because of what they have went through, and now those girls have completely ruined him ruined his life because of that shit. So that's why you gotta be careful, man, when you know, with whatever it is that, that you doing out there in life, because people are gonna have bad modems that are gonna motivate them to say, man, you know, I really need to set this guy up. Let's get him out, man, so we can get something out of it. But going back again, there's, they don't really get nothing out of it but bad karma that comes back on them in the worst way as possible. So, yeah, you know, that's my video again for today. I didn't think I would be doing two videos, but you know, I am. I did. And the only thing I have to, the only thing I can do is just wait till I hear something.